Next, we're going to be doing a neck lipo under local operation over here. It's going to be getting liposuction, get a little bit of better definition of the neck, and contour of the jawline, so the liposuction. In this area, focusing on the middle, I'm going to start by putting a little incision in here, but first a little freezing. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, here comes the poke. One, two, three, poke. So a little freezing going in. We're going to freeze this whole area. So it's going to be completely numb. She's not going to feel anything once the freezing goes in. Right now it's going to sting. Stings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Next, we're going to clean the area up with an antiseptic solution. This clear, invisible solution kills all the bacteria, makes it sterile. I'm sterilizing only the surgical area, not the whole body, not the whole world, just the surgical area. And I'm explaining this sterile approach, just so you guys know, because uh, there's always someone out there who thinks they know better. I've, I've had people teach me on social media how to do things properly in sterile way. They, they, they watch something on our, on our post, you know, I'm trying to teach people, I'm trying to educate them. And I guess they try to give me their favor, but they try to educate me how to do things properly. People that are not plastic surgeons, sometimes random people, sometimes people in medical school, sometimes even people that work in hospitals where they have slightly different protocols than we do, trying to tell them that you know things we do are wrong. My all thanks for the input. Okay, so we've prepped. I'm gonna make a small incision underneath the chin, a little stab incision, ready? One, two, three, poke. It's all frozen. Did you feel anything? No. no okay. Don't move after this. I'm gonna inject more numbing solution. I'll lower the bed a little bit. More numbing solution. This is a blunt cannula, so it's nothing sharp. Okay, I'm gonna inject all along the marked areas to freeze them. So just, I guess, for people that are watching and are curious and maybe terrified of getting this done awake, now that the freezing is in, what do you, you feel any pain whatsoever? No, no pain, no. What, what do you feel? Uh, it's just like a bizarre sensation because you can feel it moving through, but other than that, no, not pain, not discomfort, just unusual. <laughs> you don't know, we have someone poking on it, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> doesn't happen with daily okay, that's right? Right. <laughs> Okay, so we injected the tumescence with epinephrine. I gave it a few minutes to work. Now I'm gonna start doing liposuction. I'm using a very, very fine cannula. When I, this is what I do for next. Doesn't need to be as big as we do normally, and you can see fats coming out. And the goal here is not large volume. This is about shaping, not about debulking the neck. Her neck is not that big. It's really just to create some nice shape and contour. liposuction on her right side and if you can appreciate this two-dimensional picture but I've defined the jawline here this is now empty and this is still full if you can appreciate it but there's a tremendous difference that I can see between this side and this side okay, so I'm working on the other side now I want to ask our patient a question here are you okay to answer yes yeah. By far the number one obstacle people face when considering any kind of surgery is uh, fear of pain, pain and pain and pain, surgery pain to recovery. So we haven't we haven't experienced the recovery pain yet, but we're just here for surgery. Mm -hmm. You're fully awake. What describe what are you feeling? Honestly, I'm thinking it's like a spa. <laughs> Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? It's like, 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 like a spa. <laughs> it's like, like, like a spa. <laughs> it really, there's no pain. It's relaxing. Oh, you have the spa, almost like yeah. fire music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it must no, be, no pain. <laughs> yeah. Must be weird for people watching, and I'm watching this and, and seeing me poking around in your neck, <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm thinking to myself like, she's crazy, and oh my god, <laughs> that must hurt. Well, I have to say, it's like going to the spa. <laughs> Honestly, haven't heard at all. Uh, it's, that's the beauty of freezing. Freezing, <laughs> freezing numbs the sensory nerves. So even though I'm creating things that normally would be painful, the sensation of pain is not getting to her brain. So to her, I'm doing nothing. There, there's no pain whatsoever. Now, when the freezing wears off, there'll be some discomfort, but we'll, we'll give you good pain medication. So you'll be comfortable. Like I've never had a patient come back and say, "Oh my God, had I known I was going to be in this much pain, I would have never done this." Uh, you know, I, I, I don't want to lie, I don't want to say it's completely painless, you will have pain discomfort after the freezing wears off, but it's nothing good pain medication can mm -hmm. fix. And while you're doing this here, you're awake. Uh, some people are very, very anxious, mm -hmm. and they 
prefer to have this done asleep, and it's possible we can do anesthesia. We can do general anesthesia for you to sleep if, if you're super, super anxious. But if you do choose that path, that means uh, no eating or drinking, potentially nausea, vomiting after surgery, if there's someone with you overnight, uh, all kinds of other things that are associated with general anesthesia, which local does not. After this, when, 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 you know, when she's fully awake, when she's fully recovered, she can go home like she would go from a dental appointment and you'll be perfectly fine. You don't need to have any special precautions that you would normally do with general anesthesia. Two hours later. Almost done. Now I'm having a nice contour for her. Take a look here. I'm gonna pinch the skin here. See? There's there's not much fat left. I'm gonna make it paper thin. We wanna leave some fat underneath to give a nice contour. But this is about as thin as it can be. We're down to her floor of the mouth. I can't go any more than this. So I'm gonna push in here next. Sorry about that. You know, some people wanna have like a really sharp edge. I can't. This is this is the floor of the mouth. I can't go any more than this, so this is what we can do for her. Now, people that are maybe having questions about freezing and pain and everything will probably want to know how long the freezing lasts. The freezing lasts about six to eight hours. So she'll be home by the time the freezing wears off and she'll have good pain medication on board. So when the freezing wears off, she'll have some good medicine. So we give you a prescription for medication. Please do take it, even if you're completely pain free, so that it's on board when the freezing wears off. Because the pain medication works better when it's on board than if it's chasing pain. So we, we want to have it on board before the freezing wears out, okay? All right, so we are done. So you can see the shadow here. This is her jawline right here. Her mandibles right there. We scooped out this there and along here. Now you're extending your neck, right? So just lift your head up just a little bit. so. And see a little bit better what this looks like. So come look from the side. No, no don't, you don't turn. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see this and the contour right there, and all of this was liposuctioned out. <laughs>